Wow. Hello, everybody. So this is probably going to be either my first or second upload. Um, either way, I thought it was a really cool one. But part of me didn't think I should upload this one first just because it's so different than a lot of the things that I do see on YouTube. Not necessarily the like voiceover uh, painting, but the kind of art that I do, I don't see a whole lot of it. Not to say that it's anything new, but it's definitely not super common. And that's kind of why I decided overall to do a voiceover on it. Originally, I was just going to put some background music, but I decided I should probably talk about it. So, the main thing that I want to talk about today is art style, because I feel like with a piece like this, this is the first thing that you're really seeing from me. Well, one of the first things, if I upload it second. But I really wanted to talk about it because art style is something that has always been a big part of my life, being that I've never really had one. And I've been drawing and painting, and I've been into art pretty much my entire life, but I've always felt like a fraud because I don't have a particular style, or at least I didn't. It wasn't until about, I want to say, less than a year ago. It had to be the beginning of 2018. I'll have to look through and check exactly when that was, but I haven't been doing this kind of art for very long, but I am so in love with it. And I don't know if it's my art style, but I do know that it's what I enjoy doing right now. And I, I don't know, I just, I love it so much. Art style is something that I've always kind of just considered myself to not be a real artist because I, I didn't have one. I mean, you see these popular artists out there and the reason they're popular is because their stuff is so distinct from everyone else and I didn't have that. I, much like a lot of people, just copied what I saw and that's not a bad thing. That's how you learn and that's how you develop your skills and I didn't know that originally. I just kind of thought, well, I have the ability to recreate something that I see, and I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep doing that because that's what I'm good at. But eventually, you kind of got to learn to take risks and do your own thing. And that's what I tried doing over the last few years. But the things that I was doing back then, even like two or three years ago, it still wasn't me. And I hated that. I actually just recently cleaned out my entire Instagram account because I was just so tired of seeing the stuff that I was creating because I didn't like it. It's not that it was bad. It's just not stuff that I like to see. And that's one thing that really will help you find your art style. If there's something that you're drawn to specifically, try to create stuff like that. You don't have to copy it exactly, or you can. It, that nest definitely helps too. But if there's something that you enjoy seeing, put your own spin on it. Try it out. Copy it at first and then take things from different pieces that you really like and kind of just mush them all together. Because everybody is different, especially artists. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you have to create that. And it took me a really long time to learn that. I'm only 23 now. I actually just turned 23 this past May. But it's... I'm so glad that I learned that when I did. I... Part of me wishes that I could have learned that a little bit earlier. And there are so many people out there who have. But there are also just as many people who don't learn that until way later in life. And I feel like this was a good spot. I'm in a great place in my life. And I create stuff that I thoroughly enjoy. And I, I honestly don't remember how I started creating stuff like this. I don't think it was something that I saw. I do know that it, I got a, kind of an introduction to the process that I have from this guy's Instagram account. I cannot for the life of me remember his name right now. 
If I can remember it, I'll definitely add it in the description. But he painted these beautiful oil paintings. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was oil. And it was usually portraits. And then he'd take a razor blade and he would scrape off a layer and it would show something almost gruesome underneath. It was, it was just normally just like totally the opposite of what you were looking at originally. I don't even know how to explain it. I will find him and I'll put him in the description so you can see what I'm talking about. But I saw that maybe like three years ago and I didn't start doing this kind of stuff until maybe the beginning of last year, middle of last year. But in seeing that was just so incredible because it was so different from things that I'd seen before. He painted these beautiful oil paintings and his technical skill was just absolutely beautiful and then he would take his razor blade and just scrape off a section of it and it would show something just as beautiful underneath and that blew my mind because that takes such a level of skill to be able to do something like that so I became obsessed with that for a little while and right now actually one of the most inspiring ways for me to find new art and new artists it is Instagram, of course, but specifically the low brow tab. And I recommend you guys looking at it because that's how I found a lot of the artists that I follow now. They're super cool. But it's, it's just this community of artists that create out of the norm work. And it's just this big collection of oddities, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I check it every single day to see what kind of people are popping up. But that's just a really good example of people finding their art style. If you look at that tab, there are a lot of similarities, but every single one of those people is different. Every single person's art has something new in it, and I love that. For a while, as I mentioned earlier, I was creating stuff that I didn't think was bad. I mean, it was certainly good enough for me to advertise as my art, but I didn't like it. It wasn't my style. It's not stuff that I enjoyed seeing. It, it, I had an Instagram, of course, at that point where I was posting all this stuff, but I was never looking at that kind of stuff on Instagram because I didn't like it. It, wa it wasn't stuff that I wanted to see. So why the hell was I creating it? I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't, I really don't have an answer for that. I think it might have been just because I was trying to find validation that I had the skill that I thought I should have, which I guess I did. I was practicing every day. I was putting my all into the work I was creating and people did love it. It was just not stuff that I wanted people to associate with me. So I made a change and I started experimenting with other things, especially collages. Collages is something I don't have a lot of experience in. I think I made one collage when I was in 10th grade. I did it in an English class for extra credit and it was so freaking cool and I wish I had it but my teacher kept it because it was awesome so I, I mean I don't even have a picture of it because I don't I didn't take one unfortunately but it was pretty sick I had always wanted to work in that medium again but I, I just didn't know how to make it work because I'm a painter I love painting and while I do other things I do a lot of ink drawings I illustrate children's books but acrylic painting is one of my favorite things in the whole world. It's so much fun to work with. And it is, I just like to get my hands dirty. So I think one day I just decided to try to incorporate that with collage. I just want to see how those two mediums work together. Because mixed media isn't something that I had a whole lot of experience in for a really long time. I was 
working with solely watercolors. And I don't think that was bad. I, I still enjoy working with watercolors, but I love acrylic painting and then the collage aspect was just so cool because you can take something that already exists and then completely transform it into something else and I think that's what I was doing with this piece in particular it took two elements I hardly altered those images at all but I turned it into this totally different piece and as you can see I'm a little obsessed with clowns I've never been one to be scared of a whole lot. I mean, well, that's a lie. I take that back. When I was younger, I was scared of literally everything. But I've never been scared of clowns. And as an adult, I'm not scared of a lot. But I st I'm still obsessed with clowns. I used to go to the circus all the time. And my favorite part were the clowns. Because they were so silly. They were hilarious. And they had this, this slapstick humor that I loved, and I still love that to this day. It was just so incredible. And then they're so bright and colorful, like the, the yellows, the reds, the blues. It's just, I love it. Aesthetically, beautiful. And I create a lot of clowns in my pieces. If you go look at my Instagram, I'm pretty sure every single piece is a clown portrait. I should probably try to work on other things. But right now I don't want to, and that's totally fine. But I think I got way off track of what I wanted to talk about. But just if you want to find your art style, take note of those things that you like to see when you're browsing art online. Take note of the hashtags you're using when you're searching art or what hashtags are in those descriptions of those art pieces and just keep looking through them find what you like and save that follow that tag see all that art take pieces that you know you like from each of those and just try to create something be experimental finding your art style is not just going to happen overnight and there are so many people that have said this one of my favorite youtubers of all time is robin sealark used to be Robin Klontz. She has a video on art style. I highly recommend you watch that because it is what inspired me to take a step back from the things that I was doing because I didn't like it and start exploring new things. It really takes practice. You have to continue to work on your technical skills while you're working on things you like because it's a beautiful thing to find a style that you like but you you have to have that foundation to be able to create those things nothing is more frustrating than having an idea in your head and not being able to create it I still struggle with that almost every single day but it's worth trying and honestly you're gonna make yourself a better artist for it The worst that can happen from this is that you make some bad art, and that's not a bad thing. The video that I recorded for this of the painting that I'm doing was not my first attempt. I made a painting a couple nights ago, actually, that was supposed to be in place of this. I had it recorded, I edited it, but I hate the way it came out, and it's it's not that it's like bad or anything it had some cool elements to it but I just didn't like it and that's okay because I was trying something new I was still using the same sort of technique that I have here but I used more of a fuller face as the cutout and it just didn't work it didn't work with my style I didn't like the outcome very much, but that's okay because I tried something and I learned from that. I learned that I don't like using it. I like to have more of a freedom when it comes to cutting out the entire face and just using the silhouette. I learned 
that it's a lot harder to paint on magazine material when I don't have a lot of board behind it. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Saying it out loud kind of sounds stupid, but you know, I made, I made a mistake, uh, but that's fine because I learned from it and that's ultimately what art is all about. You play with new things and you figure out what works for you, what you ultimately like to use and what you like to do, and you just go from there. Every time you make a mistake, you're learning what not to do the next time you do something. And it's never a waste. I have never once looked at one of my paintings and said, well, that was a complete waste. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Because if I hadn't have done it, I wouldn't have learned not to do that next time. And I still would have been curious about it. So I'm glad I tried it. But I'm definitely not going to do it again. I'm, I'll probably show, maybe in the comments I'll put a picture of what the original one looked like. Or I'll put it on Instagram. You can check there too. But it it's fine and I don't mind making bad art because the more bad art I make the more good art I'm gonna make and the more art that I like I'm going to make and that's what this piece came out to be it's definitely different from what I normally do not in the process itself but I used more magazine than I normally do but I still like it. I think it came out really cool. I sent it to my boyfriend and he actually said it looked like something out of Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is pretty freaking awesome. But you just got to try it. You're probably not going to get it on your first try, but that's totally fine because you might get it on your second or your third. That's not really something that you should limit yourself for. You should be willing to take those risks. And if I wouldn't have done that, I don't think I would have made it to the style that I'm in today. I wouldn't have loosened up and I wouldn't have gotten to this point where I'm so willing to throw some paint down on one of my pristine boards and risk messing it up. Because back then I was so confined to this tiny little space that I created for myself. I, I didn't want to go outside those lines because everything that I made had to be good. Or I wasn't an artist. But that's just not how it works. That's not how any of this works. So I encourage you to make bad art. I am totally sounding like Robin right now. But she was right. That video was so inspirational for me. And I'm so glad that I saw it when I saw it. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm so grateful to be in the place that I am right now, and I can't wait to see how my art progresses a month in the future or a year from now. I'm so excited to see where it takes me. I still have some work that I need to do. I'm not up to the technical standard that I'd like to be at, but only practice will polish that off. So I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to take the time, make the practice, and make it work. And I hope that you guys are too. I hope you liked this video. I'm hoping to do more stuff like this in the future. I'm working on another one right now that you'll probably see before this one comes out. But I have a lot that I want to talk about. And I would like to do something like this again pretty soon. Again, thank you guys for watching and listening to my rambling. I know that I might have gotten off track a couple times, but I've never done anything like this before, so this is a new medium for me too. It's a new learning experience, but I want to thank you anyway for taking the time. This was almost a 20 minute long video, and if you sat through this whole thing, then you're freaking awesome, and I appreciate you. But with that said, I'm going to go, I'm going to go work on some more possibly bad art, but I'll keep you updated. I'll see you next time.